<laughs> you cannot believe what is happening. You should know what's happening in Manhattan. Now, so far, NBC News still has uh, Trump on 244, Clinton on 209, CNN still has uh, Trump on 238, Clinton on 209. But listen to Fox News. They've got Trump at 254. That is 16 electoral votes short of the magic number of 270. And he's leading in Michigan, which carries, wait for it, 16 electoral college votes. <laughs> 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 you know, this morning I want us to discuss your selections. What do you think of these results that are coming madness, through from the states? Madness. Madness. They tell you one thing, they do they are very different thing altogether. They say they are voting Hillary. Me still believe she's win. I'm with her. Unless you have take Kura's NYS. What do you think na of this result? There is hardly a Kenyan who slept through the night monitoring these results. What do you make of these results that are coming through? You know the shocking thing, even if Hillary had won, pressure ilo wange mwekea the last next five years. There's his four. Eh, four? Yeah. Okay, where you? you were we Hampshire, neighbor. I knew Hampshire <laughs> again. Trump is ahead, Wisconsin. Trump is ahead. Beans, those are now counties within. <laughs> I want you to give me a call on 0711 I can't believe this. You know that it's madness. It is insanity. Where we are going to pick here, Hillary Kura, throw to lop Debbie. I'm with her. Yeah, you are America. I'm as a USA use in Metumwa. My short code is double two four nine four. You can hit me up on Twitter at it's my neck again. Your uh, R classic one oh five Kenya. And remind them where we are right now. NBC News has Trump on 244 electoral college votes, Clinton on 209. Okay. CNN has got Trump on 238, mm. Clinton on 209. Oh, wow, wow. Fox mm. News have got Trump on 254 mm. and leading in Michigan, which carries 16 electoral college votes, which would get him to 270, which is the magic number. Okay, okay. What do you make of all these results coming through? We hardly slept overnight. It's madness. It's crazy. It's like America is a part of a state in America. United you know, States of when America. I thought we couldn't do another UK, I mean, who thought the UK would vote to leave the EU? That was madness. But they did. But they put in Guinea. You are tell you stand by. Give me a call and tell me what you think of these results that are coming out of here. Can you believe your eyes? What do you think of Americans this morning? Then I want to add another question. Yes, please. In retrospect. Yes, sir. What is your problem with Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 0711 is my number. Give me a call. Let's talk about this, eh? Money, how are you keeping? And it's nice to hear from you this morning. Thank you so much. I'll give you a call. This has been declared. We're still as we were. According to NBC News, Donald Trump, 244 electoral college votes. Hillary Clinton, 209. According to CNN, uh, Donald Trump, 238. Uh, Hillary Clinton, 209. According to Fox News, Donald Trump 254, Hillary Clinton 209. No one expected this kind of results. No one. What do you think is going on? What's, what do, and if you look at the states, I mean, you look at Pennsylvania right now, Donald Trump is ahead. It carries 20 electoral college votes. Hillary is only ahead in Nevada which carries six electoral votes. Wisconsin, Trump is ahead. Missouri, New Hampshire, Philadelphia is going to Trump. But everything else, uh, sorry, uh, Philadelphia is going to Clinton, but everything else looks to be headed Trump's way. Mwalimu is speechless. What do you make of it? Because it's going to have global repercussions talking about living where their choices are having consequences this is it
Classic 105 Traffic and Travel with you are home. Good morning. I'm being told by Charlie to Lutheran Thicker Road is slow from Honlam, but at least we're managing to move. I can see this morning you're not hating the bumps that much. Thank <laughs> you. Also there is George saying we're also managing to move on the thicker super highway. So on that side of town, things not too bad. Traffic and travel. For affordable quality tiles, sanitary wear and furniture, come to You Are Home, Mombasa Road. <laughs> Classic 105, Gote Awase. And Charity, you'd like to say hi to your wardrobe manager, Deno at La Belle Fashions, your brother, Baba Marks Mwiki, artist Franco Wasubu, uh, Sunny the Niger Guy, Waluthuli Avenue, uh, Moridi Wataf City Pinches and your workmates, uh, Nyambure Nwaidera Muhesh Santos Group in the morning. Tony Braxton will return in a while. As we continue talking about the big story that is unfolding before our eyes, the U.S. is deciding, and boy, aren't they deciding in a big way. Fox News still has Donald Trump on 254 Electoral College votes, Clinton on 209. She's not moved from there since 7 this morning. She's still on 209, according to NBC News, and uh, they've got Trump at 244. CNN have got Trump on 238, Hillary at 209. Now, I'm just following... I'm monitoring as many sources as possible. Let me just go through something. I'm looking at BBC because the BBC is also covering it. Uh, The good thing is, well, Nevada has gone to Clinton. Good. But that only carries six electoral votes. The heavy hitting ones are all going to Trump. They've got some celebrities reacting to Trump's charge. Morgan Freeman tweeted and said, All day I obsessed on where I should watch Hillary's victory speech. It was never an if. I underestimated our country. I feel lost. Wow. Piers Morgan, renowned British journalist, and of course, a diehard Arsenal fan, says Trump's last words to me when I saw him in New York in May was, Well, Piers, see you at the White House. And he also continued on Twitter and said, all those phony, self-interested celebrities really worked out for Hillary. Ah, As you've seen these astounding results coming out, what's going through your mind? Hi, my name. Mo- morning to you. How are you? Oh, quite frustrating. It's frustrating. The world is not ready for a woman president. The world is not ready for a woman president? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's a deep <laughs> statement you, coming. They, eh? The U.S. has just shown us that. And do you believe that? But it's so long, you know, it's so bad. We have no hope. No, we've got a hope. We've got hope. You've got to stay with Killer Hillary. I'm with her. You've got to be with yes, her. I'm with her, but it's gone. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Okay, okay, let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. Hello, Classic 105. Hi, Maina. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, wanna, hey, US. <laughs> <laughs> We've well, never seen something like that before. What, what, what do you think of these results you're hearing? Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I have nothing to say. But uh, I'm a Tim Hillary uh, person. Yeah. So we're still waiting for our stronghold. Yeah, our Sarakanisis. At Rakanis and I gave the house. So, what are you seeing from 16 A Kwanza Zikuja? We're getting this one. People should not get worried. From 16 A Zote Kwanza Tunazaka Kuziona. Okay. Yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Classic ah. 105. Amaina. Ah, morning. Good morning, Bana. Yes. But, Baino Najakti Naitua. Eh. Nafasi Yamwana Ume Katika Jami. Yes. Uongozi. Uongozi. Well, go. Sasa, America they are not ready. Hey. Yeah, can tell you for free. Yeah. As much as people can make noise, oh, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. The real thing is America and the whole world. We are not ready for a lady to to rule United States of America. So whether you call me, I'm a McCain. Yeah. Still, we have defeated Hillary. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Asante Sana, hello, Classic 105. Aina. Morning. Morning to you. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> 
I swear Kenyans are Kenyans why lie. If you're a Kenyan listening in from America, I need to hear from you. What's going through your mind right now? You're there, you're on the ground. What's going on?